a Nigerian mom has rejected a Benz and demanded that her son be arrested. Gay, gay, gay. I mean, this is not something that people do often. But this mother is questioning the source of her child's income. Why? Hey, how old are you that you have a 50 million naira Benz? From where to where? You know, and today, I'm happy. I'm happy to hear it. Because with the current money mysteries around, it's not often that you see a mother would say, Sir, who gave you the money? But imagine this. You're a young boy. You just finished secondary school. You don't have a job. You don't pull up to your family home. You don't have 50 million naira worth benzo. Are you expecting a hero's welcome? From where? This mother had other plans. She ran out and called for the government to investigate her son, who is flaunting a lifestyle that literally does not align with your income, right? Like, Money doesn't fall from the trees, but in Nigeria, it seems as if it did fall. He doesn't have a job. He's driving Benz GLE. How? Where? But again, that's the mother's decision. My question is, if that was you, what would you do in that situation? If your child came home, you know your child does not have a job and all of a sudden they have flashy things. Are you accepting the gift? Are you excited for your child? What would you do? Comment down below and let me know. But in a world where fraud and money laundering and other questionable means of wealth creation is on the rise and not only is it on the rise, it's normalized, right? It's so refreshing to see that parents are rejecting this. This is so refreshing. There's a proverb that says you have aided and abetted a thief. If your child is not a dry cleaner, yet he brings home different kinds of clothes. Deep. Think about that. Some people want to want to argue that, you know, this Yahoo Yahoo we they do is because of unemployment. And yes, guys, I fully understand unemployment is real. Graduates are struggling. And not only that, the pay doesn't even align sometimes. But unemployment should never be a free pass for you to go to the dark side of the law. It's not right right two wrongs don't make a right so i personally think that just because there's unemployment you shouldn't go to become and do yahoo you actually need to find creative ways to make wealth for yourself but the mother's point was really really valid she was saying that parents should be able to ask questions about where wealth came from i know in my family if i ever came home with x y and z and my parents are like mom what are you what work are you doing what are you doing who gave you that like my my parents will always ask questions and i think it just goes back to say that you're responsible for making sure that your child understands the difference between right and wrong and i think it's a call to action as well because we've seen that there's such a normalization of it right we now call it para streets you did press was another name um i mean walking boy walking girl i mean i don't know these names it's the people in the studio that are giving me the names and i just have to say that i hate how normalized it is i i always say that it's so dangerous like when you begin to allow people who've made money illegally into your friendship communities and you know this person is doing yahoo and you participate and take their money you let them pay for things you're like oh me i never i'll never do yahoo but but okay well the money that they're paying for dinners, the money that they're paying for the beach house, the money that they're using to pay for your bags, your shoes, the money that the guy is sending you, you're participating in it. And you are allowing this person to feel like it's okay because you have not shunned this person away. So you're no different from the Yahoo boy or the Yahoo girl. Like if you encourage them and you endorse them and you take money from them, you're actually making it worse by giving them validity to continue doing what it is that they're doing. That's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about Yahoo and the state of the country and all of that. But do you guys think the mother overreacted? Do you think that she should have turned a blind eye since it is her flesh and blood? But I'm really curious because why community here on the scoop? Do you guys think that there's actually anything wrong with Yahoo? And if you don't, comment down below and let me know. And if you've ever done it, if you're depressed, Comment down below and tell me why you did it. What was your reasoning and justification for it? And how did it make you feel after you stole people's money? All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you remember to follow us on TikTok and also to share our videos. Invite your friends into the scoop because I'm giving you guys knowledge and you're getting smarter and smarter as you know, you're watching the content. So make sure you share. And also, I will see you guys on the weekend recap. I cannot wait. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.